Hello friends, this is Himanshu Saxena and today I am going to discuss with you one of the aspects of written communication which is called email writing or email etiquette. Do you know that around 2.7 million emails are shot every second worldwide? And do you know most of the times your job applications get rejected because of poor mails? So today I am going to discuss with you the basic do's and don'ts of an effective email writing. The first learning of the day is when I say email etiquette and not etiquettes. In order to write a mail, the prerequisite is that you should have a mail ID. Mail IDs like sweet teddy bear at blah blah dot com or smart himanshu at blah blah dot com do not work. Please create professional mail IDs. Once your ID is created, you are ready to write a mail. Now let us understand a typical mailbox structure. A typical mailbox consists certain fields like to, cc, bcc, subject and then space for the main body of the mail. In to, I am supposed to put the email address of the primary recipient of the mail. In cc, which stands for carbon copy, I am supposed to write the email address of a person for whose information I am sending this mail to him. Remember. I do not expect any kind of action or response from the person who is there in CC. BCC stands for blind carbon copy. Here I am supposed to keep a person whom I want to be there as a hidden person and other people should not know that this particular person who is in BCC is actually monitoring the entire correspondence over the mail. Please use this feature of BCC in a very cautious manner. Then comes your subject. Subject has to be related to the main body. It should be catchy. It should be crisp. It should be concise. It should not exceed 35 characters. Ideally, the characters should be in between 25 and 35. Then comes your main body. You should start your mail with dear. There is a common confusion among Indian students that should they use dear or respected. Well, not anymore. If you talk about dear, it is perfectly fine. It is formal with a personal touch. However, in Indian context, whenever you are writing a mail to any kind of academician, you, you should preferably use respected. After this, the name of the person, let's say for example, I'm writing my own name. So how I'm going to do that? It would be dear Himanshu Saxena or dear Mr. Saxena or dear Himanshu. Once I'm done with this salutation, I'm supposed to greet the other person. Yes, you heard it right. I'm supposed to greet the other person. Many a time, my trainees come to me and they ask me, so it is a complaint mail. Do I need to greet? The answer is a big yes. Despite the fact that it is a complaint mail, we should definitely, we should definitely greet the other person. Ideally, greetings can be done using the phrase greetings to you, one exclamatory mark, or greetings of the day exclamatory mark. Question over here, please do not use multiple exclamatory marks over here. It will do no good to your greetings. It will create the same impression as people when they say very, very, very good morning. No matter how many very you put, it will always remain good morning. So please use only one exclamatory mark. And then you can begin with the body of your mail. Remember, you should not exceed three paragraphs in any case while writing a mail because people these days they do not have that much of time that they're going to read your mails and that is the beauty of the mail that within limited word limit you are supposed to make sense and that's where the power of communication and power of words comes into the picture please use your word power wisely to end the mail you are supposed to use preferably thanks and regards when I say thanks and regards, please take note that uh, R of regards should be in small case and not capital. Please also note that there is no comma after dear Mr. Saxena or thanks and regards. After thanks and regards, you are supposed to write your name, your designation, your contact number, your organization name. In case you are a student, your name and contact number would do the things. This is how you are supposed to write a mail. 
Now there are certain do's and don'ts of a male writing. Number one, avoid caps on while writing mail. If you draft the entire mail using caps on, it will become a rude mess message to the other person. However, if you are writing acronyms or abbreviations, let's say for example UPSRTC which is an abbreviation to Uttar Pradesh State Road Transport Corporation, it's perfectly fine. But refrain yourself from using caps on for drafting the entire mail. Number two, do not use slangs or offensive language or ambiguous language. Because in that case, you will cut a sorry figure before the person you are sending it to. Number three, you should always put the attachment first and the address last. I repeat this, you should always put the attachment first and the address last. Many a time it happens that we have not put the attachment and by mistake we click the send button. So the mail has been sent without putting the attachments. That is why it is said, always put the attachment first, proofread your mail and then put the address. So that in case by mistake if you press the send button, your mail will not be shot. Next, always try to mention the number of attachments. In case I am writing a mail for a job, and I'm sending my resume and cover letter, I should preferably write, please find here attached a copy of resume and my cover letter. It will give a proper impression of my mail etiquette. These are certain do's and don'ts which you should keep in mind while drafting a mail. For any further clarification, you can definitely talk to me or you can refer to various blogs which we keep on releasing from time to time. Happy learning, keep learning and stay healthy. Thank you very much.